Alright, here at Glen Fair for the opening of uh, season 29. It's our annual Desert Open Marathon. It is just that. It's been a warm weekend and a whole lot of entries. 100 bowlers started. Two remain in the handicap division. Uh, that one remaining is 12 year old Zach Holdsworth from Tucson, part of the Relentless Cactus Mafia. He survived the best three out of five, then best two out of three, then best one out of one. That play to get to face his opponent. And that is Cameron Carlo, a newcomer for us from Lake Avenue. Trying to win, obviously, his first time. He's acting well, both of them bowling well. It's, it's uh, Cameron that's giving the pins, and it's 38 of them. Cameron's got to win by 38 to tie, 39 to win. Whoever letter A is, is up on the left. Their left is the girls' scratch title match going on. Girls' we'll scratch and U17 in addition to our regular scratch and handicap. And working off that strike we just saw when we started recording and almost makes it two in a row there. Double points, the famous Glass Cactus Awards to the champs. A whole lot of money, a whole lot of other little bonuses, not little at all, other big bonuses that come with it. Evo with the seven, but not quite. Hold on three different patterns. The scratch top seed got to chose the pattern for this afternoon's match play. That was Cesar Padilla. He chose Badger because he needs stinking badges. So one of the men of you watching this understood that reference. Write it in the comments if you did. Cameron likes to bowl as fast as he possibly can. These matches were three out of five. Some people were in match two, and Cameron was finishing match five. He said he kept his rhythm going. That's fine. However you want to do it. Missed to the right that time. He's got a seven count. That's Taylor Clark on the left. Not happy that that's the first shot. I caught over in Cameron. He big split in the third of the girls' scratched out of match. That's a problem because her opponent, Caitlin Abagani, has front three against her. Nice snap from Carla there. He's got 115 through 6 scratch, and again, he's got a win by 38, which is about roughly what he reached by that right now. So looking good, but Halsworth has finished strong in a lot of his games. It's a makeable for him, a tricky old 2 7. I guess when he threw a two handed backup, is it normal old ladies? Question mark? <laughs> I don't really know. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. Got a shot at it, a bit of a but that badger will pattern here. This late in the match play is still very, very slick, especially on the edges. The gutters tend to not hook at this bowling center, a lot of friction in the middle. It will complicate patterns somewhat. It's Taylor's ball on me. Since she struck, we better make sure we get Taylor as well. Taylor's been a long time on the great Clark family from Tucson as well. Ah, nice shot from Cameron right there. Stays clean, he's only had one miss, a third frame open. That's how you win when you're the one giving all those pins. You see Caitlin rocking the Team USA shirt. She just represented her country out in Korea. Or unsurprisingly, she did quite well, but unsurprisingly has the front one. This is a head pin, but leaves a makeable like mafioso. Mateo, that's when Don Mateo says. What does he earn as high mafia number of He's gonna get a lot of goodies. He's a made man? He's a made man. Alright. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's the spare. Yeah. Make it five. Hit off the right. Or to the left, off to the right. The scratch division is bowling there. Best of three match, Padilla and Jones, all 1-1, one, one, and Barchas and Kanye is 1-1 one, one as well. Week off for the tour, we go to the Adult New Mexico Open, then off to Seattle to begin their season 29. I hit, but I make a as well. 38 pins the difference. If he spares this, he'll lead by about 43. Still anybody's game. Such thing as a gimme spare. That was a pretty shot for Taylor Smith's attack. Switches to the plastic and he's got no problem at all. That, that nicely done. Eight marks, nine frames for her camera. That's very good. Now let's see what the youngster can come up with here.
that and you know, switch on that and shift the oil, especially when these kids don't urinate on anything. That pushes a lot of the oil into the pin decks, and that's a lot of the reason you see a lot of slidey pins. They clean their pin decks just fine, but if, if you're push shoving oil into into that pin deck, that's what you'll end up having. It's going to slide all over the place. What you got, Ben? Our turn? Cool, call it up.
Was there while See, I grab some stretch? Yes, you can. coming up. 